All right, in our last lesson, we, we uh, talked about plant fertilizer teas. And um, we started with that because it's really basic and easy to do, something that anyone can start right away. I mean, once you watch the how-to videos, you should be off to the races. Just get, get a batch going. Now what we're going to talk about is what's called um, actively aerated compost tea. So A-A-C-T, actively aerated compost tea. And so what we're doing now is we're going to take either manure um, or compost, finished compost, or something that's been composted for a while, and we're going to aerate it. So right, we're gonna we're gonna basically oxygenate it to multiply that soil life that's in in the uh, compost or the manure, right? So that's that's. That's it in a nutshell. So what we're gonna show you now is, is exactly how to do that. Okay, so the first thing we'll do is we'll gather our tools. What are we gonna need for actively aerated compost tea? Well, we're gonna need some compost and, or manure. You know, it's some material that's gonna have this, this soil life that we're going to multiply. And in this case, I've got um, just some finished compost. Right? Cause that's all that is. And, and honestly, I have quite a bit in here and I don't even need that much. You know, really you only need it couple of cups because remember we're not we're, we're multiplying the life in the soil the bacteria the fungi, fungi the protozoa and all of that we have a little aer aerator okay so and there's lots of lots of different ways to do this if we're using a five gallon bucket one of these little aquarium um, air suppliers you know the little bubblers works just fine okay and this one is it's kind of the uh, uh, it's it's a dual one and so it works actually really well and I'll show you how to set that up I like that. Now you don't need, you could use one. You just want to use one that's going to produce enough oxygen. Okay. It's going to move enough air through there that we're going to get the aerobic microbiology kicking. Okay. I have a little rock there and that's all I, I, I take one of these here and I weigh it down at the bottom of the bucket so that I have a bubbler at the bottom. And then I have one that's about, you know, that that's, hangs out either near the top or midway down. And that's it, okay? And so we have our bucket. We have, make sure that you have a, a bucket that's clean, that's ready to go. And that's all you need as far as materials. 